Hey guys, so this is the video from our meeting today and does that really show up backwards in a selfie video? That's funny. So maybe watch this first. Um, this is just the recap. So, you know, watch my, my dumb, boring meeting video of going over all the new stuff we're doing with websites and everything. But to kind of sum things up, um, make sure you do the following. Get a domain name. Um, you can set that up through GoDaddy or through Spotlight. But if you have a domain name, know what that is and know like what your username and password is to access that. And then set up a time to meet with Spotlight Home Tours, you know, whether it's through uh, that email that they sent you or give them a call and set up a time to meet with them. They'll help you set up your website. And then get a headshot ready that you can send to them because they'll add that to your website. And finally, uh, send your headshot, your bio, and your domain name to utahcornerstone.com so we can make sure that you're on our website. When, when people go to the agent section and find you, we want your photo, your bio, and then your link to your new awesome website. Thanks. First of all, like we've switched, so sorry we're switching often, but we only do it when it's an improvement. This is a huge improvement because um, the company we were with before provided our home tours. Um, this, this company provides, and it's more money, but it's we've been looking for a solution like this for a long time. We're excited to finally have it. So um, this company still provides the home tours, the, the property tour for your listing. It will automatically create a tour off of your MLS photos. And then we can also attach the 3D tour and the videos to it. Um, and then what the other stuff that it does, we'll talk about today, and that's kind of what is huge and awesome for all of us. But for the, for the property tour real quick, um, this company also does their own video and photos and 3D tours. So they are set up to not let agents and companies upload their own videos and 3D tours. And they're letting us be the exception because what they wanted to avoid is having, you know, they're, this is, they're, they're trying to keep this brand pretty prestigious and elegant and nice and professional quality. So they didn't allow any companies or agents to upload their own videos to the tours. They, they just uploaded theirs. So they started by giving us an exception and like, oh yeah, you can send us your videos and we'll upload them. And you'll see what I mean here when this starts working. Here we go. Um, but because they know like that we do quality stuff and, and our videos are actually good, they, first of all, they added so where we can upload our own 3D tours to it right away. And then, um, I don't know if you saw those texts, over the last couple of days from Brett, but he said he was gonna add a place to where Matt and Colton can just upload their videos directly. So, but yeah, so last week we definitely ran into, like, Tour Factory got shut down, Spotlight went up for, the, for our tours, and the videos were taken so, a couple so of days. So we need to do anything, we need to delete and deactivate our tours? Yeah, so the one and only thing you need to do is within your listings, go, oh, I need to change my password. But on your listing, you need to go and edit the property tour and then go down and select Spotlight Home Tours as the oh, provider. Okay. So that'll be the, the change you have to do. To start things off with Spotlight, one thing that's, that's better already is the property tour is being created pretty fast after the listing is uploaded. With Tour Factory, it was taken, uh, they said 18 hours, but it was taken a couple days on sometimes. So that's, I mean, that's one huge benefit. The, the tours are uploaded much faster, so it's gonna enable us to, you know, get a new listing, get all the photos and video and 3D tour and everything done, list it and have the video and 3D tour and everything available almost instantly. So that'll be, that'll be great. Let me see if I can show you a tour without being in, logged into the MLS right now. I'm assuming we'll all have our own login for that. We do have our own Yep, login absolutely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let me just start from the top. So, so the first thing you want to do is respond to that email with a time about when you can do a call with them. Um, so they'll call you and train you and they'll share their screen and walk you through uh, this whole home page. So 
This is the login for Spotlight Home Tours. Um, so when you call and get set up, like you'll get a username and password. This will replace Tour Factory, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, what should be in there already is any active listings that you have. And I think it pulled under contracts also, but any active listings that you have um, should be in here. So this is the you know the property tours, and and again this part alone isn't. I mean it's just kind of more of a lateral move. It's you know it's, it's doing the same thing. Um, it looks nice and it works and it's great, but um, nothing too too crazy. But it is way way good that um, it's just faster. So. So yeah, just like before, you know, you can add the videos right to it. Um, they're a little more noticeable, like there's these tabs up here. I don't know why this one doesn't have a 3D tab. Let me pick a different one. Okay, so here's one that's a little better. So you've got photos, the video, and then a 3D tab right here. So it's, it's definitely more noticeable. So this is how it will show up when they click on the MLS link of tour. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. So this is the new I like that better. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah. yeah. So that's so that's that. Pretty simple. Um, again, you don't have to worry about anything other than in the MLS. When you get a new listing, you've got to remember to select Spotlight Home Tour as the tour provider, so that tour link is active, and that'll spread throughout all the IDX searches and you know Realtor.com and everywhere right. else that it shows up. Are these just for your listings? This is my login as an agent, so this is just showing my listings. Yeah, when you log in, it'll be your listings. Yeah, I've already looked at mine this morning. It's pretty cool. You have good, good. Okay. Um. So yeah, so this is you know this is something that you can share. You can you can share on, on social media and everything. Um, as far as so flyers, I have not messed tons with flyers, but uh, Chris, there's this more category. So flyers, blah blah blah. You've got. Great brochures, and then so yeah, just so right here you've got it's in with it's in the create brochures little drop down. I'm not sure why, but just like always, and it's pretty simple. Um, I actually like this one better once these pictures load. Um, you can sit easily, put them where you want them. Cool. <laughs> okay, and then you can change. You can change the logo, your your photo, and then you know type whatever you want to type here. So pretty pretty easy. So that's that's what that is, Chris. I I haven't went all the way through and finished a flyer yet, but. Pretty, pretty sweet. Can you yeah. Change the color of that yellow or no? Um, you know what I mean? You have to have that gold. I don't know. There was just tons of different templates. Oh, okay. So do they? You have to print them through them then? No, no, no. You can just save it as a PDF just and print them real quick. Yeah. Save. Okay. Yep. Oh, I see. That's better. So what's cool? Yeah, you've got different templates. Okay. Like just cool. the, you know that. That would be good. Um. But yeah, what's cool too is they're working on. So double-sided <coughs> brochures. Um, so they've got like a double and trifold brochure template too that you can make. And then they're working on this customizable. It looks like you can change a little Where bit more. Out of, Robert? What's that? Where are they out of? Uh, Salt Lake. So you just... Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, so that's that. I mean, again, this is like, 5% of it. This is just the new, the tour that it provides. It's cool. It's great. It's better than, I, I mean, it's similar to what we had before. It's not like if, if it was just this alone, we probably wouldn't have went through the effort of switching. But so here's where it gets crazy. So they are, they're almost done with their PI something, PPI, PP something, where it pulls data in so so what Ethan means is if, if you get a lead from your website and you also pay and use referral maker you can just automatically have a port like those leads that register here or if you put them in here 
they'll be in referral maker. So they're, they've, even before we asked, they've been working on that. And they have it set up, they're just working on making sure it'll talk to referral maker. Beautiful, yeah, great. so they're gonna do that too. And, that, and that's, that's why we like this so much because, you know, we feel like, it definitely gets frustrating having like, okay, you know, we have dot loop, you have a username and login there, you've got the MLS, you've got a username and login there, you've got, a referral maker for you got a username and login there and then tour factory and then you know like clark was here last week and he's like man i pay 59 bucks a month right now for my pro agent website plus i pay 150 bucks a month or 180 bucks a month for this social media company to do posts and stuff for me <laughs> and like this is replacing all of that so i haven't showed you the social media stuff yet awesome. um so for social media, um, here's what they've got. So if you go to is concierge social, um, you can edit your, like all your social media posts that you want this to do for you. So the first thing you do is like, if you're logged into your Facebook on another browser um, or another tab, it'll automatically pull you know, pull your stuff through. So the first thing, like I've already done it, but you'll set up your social media accounts. Uh, and I just set up Facebook so far. You have to, like don't get nervous, but like you have to set up your personal Facebook account first. Um, but then you can just have that turned off and like never be automatically posting real estate stuff to your personal one. But you've got to add that first uh, with your accounts. And then once you do that, you can set up your sub accounts. So like once you loaded your personal, you can select whatever business accounts you're an admin of, you can add. So I set up my personal and then I set up my, you know, Robert Ground Real Estate like business Facebook page. And that's the one I'm using for content. So after you do that, it'll, it'll take you to, so we're all right here. So you got personal account off, sub account on, uh, and then you select content. So. For this, you just select like what types of content you want it to like automatically pull stuff from. Um, so I went through and I picked you know different categories. I picked architecture, contemporary homes, uh, do-it-yourself projects, and then all the major holidays. And then I also picked my listings. So, um, and then I I did this send proof email. I turned this on. And I definitely recommend having this turned on. Um, so here's kind of what it lets you do. So once you continue, you can select uh, the number of days you want to post something. And you know, I, I recommend like one to three. You know, definitely not every day. Um, and then maybe like every couple posts, uh, or once or twice a month, you share your business post <coughs> on your personal page. You know, again, you, like. With, Social media, you don't want to always be doing business stuff on your personal page. Um, but I think that's a good way to, you know, try to get, get a few more uh, people to interact with your business page. So I've got it set to twice a week. And then I pick the days. I pick Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and then next, you can kind of pick the times that, that you want it to post. And it'll randomly pick between these times. And the times it automatically has loaded in here is kind of what researchers show like the, the best times to post stuff, you know. Um, one to three kind of being that time when in, uh, um, but those are kind of the ideal times, about seven to 10 p.m., you know, when you're put your kids to bed or whatever. So say so continue. Um, once you set that up, you're gonna start getting emails like these. So you're gonna get this email that's a uh, proof, like before it posts the post for you, you can view the post, and make sure you're okay with it. Um, crock pot, pumpkin spice, latte recipe. Maybe not one that I would post, so like I might skip this one, but just for fun. But you, you twittered a mimosa recipe there. I know. <laughs> I know. Oops, I don't know what I did. <laughs> okay. So let's approve the post. 
And here's what's cool. So this is like where it gets a little teeny bit tricky. So I approve the post and this is how it looks. The only negative is, so like if people click on it, it does take them back to my website, which is cool. Um, and Ethan, you could probably explain why it shows this. Up at, up at the top, it says spotlighthometours.com instead of robertbrownrealestate.com. Like they're still on your site, you still get the lead, but it's, yeah, it's a different URL for some reason. If you click the top corner icon, does it take you back to the Robert Brown Real Estate? If you click the cornerstone icon? Yeah, that one. Or does it stay on the ugly? It's still the ugly URL. Yeah, so I don't know. So that's, that's happening on these social posts. Um, so if I go... So when you approve that, that was a social media post that automatically posted to your social media because you approved it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they create them. What if you don't like any of them? You create your own? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're missing a tie-in. They need to... They need to have you say, if I post a blog post, tie it. Because some people have more yeah. than one domain and they don't know which domain to tie that to. Yeah. So they're just missing that. Yeah. You can talk to them about it if you want. Yeah. It should be an easy uh, fix. But so here's the post, you know, so it's on my Facebook now. Um, oh, I don't know, it's just, with the social media content, they, like with permission, pull uh, articles from like the Washington Post and these you know, do-it-yourself blogs. And it's kind of a source that they pull from, so, but. So it's kind of cool. I mean, you, you can do it or not. I mean, I still think, you know, spending a couple minutes on your own content that really has meaning and you know, redirects into your site and has some sort of call to action, you know, is going to be the best. And then once it's posted, like you still want to go in, you know, share your post on different classified sites, you know, give us some love. Um, okay. So, Get a domain name and then set up a time to so, so you know set up a time to meet with spotlight like that's where they'll walk you through they already have all our logos and everything um, the one thing, it looks like you must have got them, you got them a new logo with the right pixels and stuff, huh? Uh, is that you that did few. that? Okay. Because yeah, because that fits a lot better. There's like space for a bigger logo there, that's cool. Um, so they already have logos and everything, but they're going to need a headshot. Easy to change out if you, you know, you mm -hmm. want headshot yeah. 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 Yeah, right here, when you go to realtor websites uh, on the home page, yeah, it's slow right now. Um, there's a spot you can just edit it right there. Um, so, Ethan, let me ask you. If an agent wants to send you like their website and a bio and a photo, where do you want them to email that? Like to get added to the to website. To me would that be more convenient? Yeah, I would do that. Mm -hmm. Take this forward yeah. to me. Yeah. I'll so. So, so this is this for Cornerstone's website? 
Yeah, so what, what we want to make sure we have is everyone's accurate info on our website, and that's just going to help you. So, like when you have your domain and you have the setup, so you have your own website with Spotlight and everything, on utahcornerstone.com, when people click on Logan Agents and they find you, we want an updated photo of you, your bio, and then, you know, to learn more about Sharon, click SharonLuthy.com. Like we'll have links from utahcornerstone.com to your website. So, um, yeah, get a domain would definitely be step number one, and then just set up a time, respond to that email that you got, set up a time, uh, and they're gone. I mean, they're like kind of ready and waiting. So you, I'm sure even today you could meet with them and, and everything. And for me, I mean, it was like 30 minutes and they'll review this too. Like I probably forgot some stuff, but they'll, they'll walk you through like what everything does and how to edit your, your tours and how to create a flyer and just like everything. They'll walk you through setting up all your social media stuff. So like a half hour on the phone with them, like when you're done, like you'll be able to go to SharonLuthy.com and freaking see your website and your picture and the video you picked and the communities you picked and search for homes and send clients listings from your website, post your listings on Facebook from SharonLuthy.com, you know, capture leads. It's, it's just, it's sweet. Like we've been looking for this for a long time. So, and what's cool too is like they, the, we're the only company they're letting upload videos to directly. Like, so, you know, they're going to add a link. Um, so I'll show you in a second, Matt, like they, they've added a link. We can just attach the three code. Like there's the Matterport code. We just enter it on the tour and then they're going to make a spot where we can just upload the videos directly like to, so it'll be kind of similar to Tour Factory, how like we'll need every agent's login. But yeah, the cool thing too is like with Tour Factory, you know, you'd list the home and it was like three days later, like the tour was there and the video was there and the 3D tour was there. Like this should be like same day now. So that's, that's huge too. So, but yeah, we dipped in the piggy bank and we're able to figure out a way to you know, do this and not you know, it's no extra cost or anything. So that's, that's huge. So, but uh, yeah, we'll continue to play with it and figure it out. And, um, but yeah, I mean, just with mine, like I love, like just sending a client a home from here looks really nice. 